Today on Earth Focus, Congressman Earl Blumenauer on saving America's pollinators. Coming up on Earth Focus. In the United States, pollination services are a vital part of agricultural production. One third of food produced in North America depends on pollination by honeybees, including almonds, avocados, cherries, and apples. But since 2006, beekeepers have been losing 30% or more of their hives, a phenomenon that came to be called colony collapse disorder. While its exact cause is still debated, a growing body of evidence links neonicotinoids, a class of systemic pesticides, to this decline. In 2013, Congressman John Conyers and Earl Blumenauer introduced the Saving America's Pollinators Act, which directs the Environmental Protection Agency to suspend the use of neonicotinoids until a new scientific review is made to determine their proper application and safe use. What we're attempting to do with this legislation is blow a whistle. Stop moving forward with an indiscriminate use of a neonicotinoid uh, pesticide that uh, has this potential exceedingly damaging effect and prohibit their use until we're able to follow through on the research to prove that they're safe. We've already seen a two-year ban uh, in the European Union, and I think we need to start moving immediately to be able to try and rein in the use until we can move forward with confidence. For the last decade, I've had an opportunity to do some work uh, with uh, advocates for pollination. Uh, and we've watched that uh, this uh, has been an area that is sort of a, a silent battleground. We have a quarter million species that provide the vital service of pollination that makes a huge difference for our agricultural industry, but for our very quality of life in terms of the ecosystem. Of late, we have seen stresses and threats. Uh, I had a pretty dramatic example uh, in uh, my community. Uh, 50,000 bees died. I think there has been too much weight given to agricultural practices backed up by uh, pesticide companies. Uh, there are a number of these little canaries in the coal mine that we need to be sensitive to. Um, and if we start uh, losing in greater, even greater numbers pollinators, it's going to affect the crops, it's going to affect the overall balance of nature, uh, and it may be extraordinarily difficult for us to be able to recover. The fact is that we're not doing enough in terms of research and opportunities in terms of understanding what the dynamic is and things that we could do to further enhance uh, pollinator habitat and protection. Uh, it needs to be a priority, but it's not one that's going to break the bank. I mean, we're talking a, a few tens of millions of dollars that would make a huge difference in protecting uh, billions of dollars of protection and the overall ecosystem that we want to thrive. Pollinator protection has been slow going. I will say that one of the things that is encouraging to me is that it's something that doesn't necessarily have to be partisan in nature, and it's something that doesn't have to cost a great deal of money considering the benefits. We're seeing more and more people who are all of a sudden paying attention. And some of these dramatic examples, like the bee die-off or colony collapse, have had more of an impact on the public. We have had uh, hundreds of thousands of people who've shared their concern and their interest in supporting pollinators. We're in this for the long haul, uh, and we are looking at potential long-term damage to the environment, to pollinators, and to agriculture. So we're, we must be committed to following through where the evidence takes us. Uh, and this is something that I have no intention of uh, sort of shelving. This is not a one-time event for us. We've been working on pollinator protection for a decade. I plan to continue doing so as long as I'm in public life and frankly, as long as I'm an engaged citizen who cares about the environment.
U.S. airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.